Right, uh, this afternoon we're going to run through using the auto source citation uh, feature in Family Historian. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a source for an obituary, which you can see on the screen at the moment. And then what we'll do is we will add this individual and his family uh, into Family Historian. Now I'm doing what's called a surname study, which is all name bearers of the name Lefebvre, wherever they are in the world, and building some history around them. And so I know that I do not have this individual in my uh, US database at the moment. And so what we've got is, we've, I've found his obituary here in the Arizona Republic on the 23rd of May of this year. And so the first thing we need to do over in Family Historian is create a source record. So if we go to add a source, and what we'll do is we shall call this, uh, we shall add this bit of Edward Corvette. And he was born in 1939, and he died in 2018. Um, the type, uh, we don't have a predefined type at the moment, so we, what we can do is we can close that. So you can actually just type in here what type it is. Now the author from looking at the obituary, we know that uh, this was his brother, Terry, who created the obituary. So let me put that in there. And we know that's where it was published. So we can simply copy that, hit Control C and a Control V to paste it in there. We can then copy the whole of this record here Again, control C and control V to paste it. So we've now got all of the information from that obituary in there. And if we come back here, you can see there's a nice photograph of him. We don't know when it was taken, but it is of him. So what we can do is we can add that into here, or we can add it subsequently to him. And in fact, it's probably better that we don't add it in here because it's not an image of the record, it's an image of him. So what we can now do is we can now go up here and we can turn on the automatic source citation and it's popped him in there. And so that's where we've got it. We can then click to set it as automatic. Isn't it? Uh, typical, I haven't practiced this and that's why. Right, we now have that set um, as our source citation. Now, as I said, we know that we don't have Edward Corbett Lefebvre in my database. So what we can do is we can go to add an unrelated individual, um, Edward Corbett. Because it's a, a hyphenated, uh, not a hyphenated name, a double name, Lefebvre is how he spelt it. Um, stick it between the brackets. Uh, between the slashes rather. And you can see in the source it's plonked him in as the source for his name, his mail. Now we know from the obituary that he was born on February 11th 1939. So 11th, uh, 1939 and it was in So that we know where he was born. 
and also from the obituary we know that he died uh, on the 16th of May 2018 in Arizona, because where he lived. Uh, so, 16th May 2018, and all we know is Arizona, Arizona space, nope, USA. Right, okay, so we've got him now in there. Now what we can do is, um, we've got some various details about him, and I'll, I'll just go and put one of these in. And let's put his BA in. So he got a BA in 1961 at Arizona State University. So if we go to facts, add a fact, more fact types, then we go to education, add. Now, Date 1961, and it was in Arizona. Arizona State University. So again, uh, if we look across here, the source for the education again is this same obituary. Now, what we can also do is we can add that photo at this stage in there, so we can go to media, we'll say insert from file, now I've already downloaded it uh, from that web page, saved it here so we can open that and copy it into, we'll copy it into obituary um, or we can make a new one, make a new folder, um, images, or no, let's, let's call it people. Yeah. So, and we say OK. Why hasn't it loaded? Now we don't know when it was taken. He looks in his twenties, but we're just guessing then. So we'll just leave it at that. And you can see it's now put his photo up in there. Now, if we come back to the obituary. We can see here that he is survived by two younger brothers and so what we can do now is we can come back here we, we can create a new record for his father all we know is that he was a love um, we may find out details about him at some stage in the future now make him the master and now we can add another child in here create a new record and um, this will be for Terry Lefebvre. Now we know he's male and we know that as he's a younger brother he was born after 1939. Now we can carry on and we can add his other siblings um, and all the other records that we can glean from this obituary and all of them are then recorded for the one source. So that's basically all there is to it, and the last thing to remember to do before you go off and do anything else on any other record in your database is turn the automatic source citation off, and you can then close that window there. And that's it. So hopefully that's given you an idea of what you can do with uh, automatic source citations. Create the source first, and then create the record or records concerned.